Hi students, welcome. So now we are discussing about in projection of solid topic. Our problem is a square prism of base side 30 mm and axis 60 mm lies on the HP on one of its longer edges with its faces equally inclined to HP. Draw its projection when its axis inclined at 35 degree to the VP. Clear? So this is the problem. So the condition is the axis is inclined to VP 35 degree. Clear? So first you draw one XY reference. So now this is the axis inclined 35 degree. Therefore it is after change of position method. Therefore before change of position method the axis is let us consider perpendicular. Clear? So the solid axis is perpendicular. Therefore the true shape is nothing but a square shape is visible only on front view. Therefore first we draw front view. Clear? And also while the longer edge is resting on HP. So in that square prism the top four edges all are 30 size and base four edges that also 30 size but which one is longer edge means the four 60 mm line length okay the four edges of 60 mm it's along the axis that is the longer edge therefore any one of the longer edge is resting clear so therefore and that sides the base sides is equally inclined or otherwise the faces containing that longer edge is equally inclined to HP therefore let us consider here 45 degree 45 degree clear so this is 45 degree 45 degree it is equally inclined like this clear so now this is the front view of the square clear and this is prism so anyhow the solid compulsory we need the center so line joining the diagonals understand so line joining the diagonals so this one and you draw the projection line So in front distance is not given. Let us consider some x distance in front of it. Clear. Then in top view, it is square prism. No. So in top view, this one, it, it consists two rectangle surfaces. Clear. So let us consider this is one front square and rear square. No. So one, two, three, four. It is front view, therefore 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. So here in top view 1, 2, comma 4, this is 3, these portions. Similar case in rear end, rear end, let's consider A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. In front view, sorry, top view A, B, C and b comma d so this is the case so now here the 4 dash and d dash so it's nothing but the front end is 4 and rear end is d so in front view 4 and d dashes so this is the longer edge the size is 60 mm this is the longer edge one of its longer edges actually here four longer edges 1a 1a longer edge 2b longer edge 3c and 4d out of the four longer edges, when one of its longer edge, that means we are considered as per the numbering 4D, that longer edge is resting on HP and same the faces are equally inclined to HP. Clear? That's one. But now the axis is perpendicular. After that, we want to incline as per the given inclination 35 degree. Clear? So we know that this is first diagram. We draw. Finally, we get second diagram clear. Then now the axis inclined. 
35 degree 35 degree first diagram second diagram second and third both are same shape and size okay so we made it same size from here to here how much same size here to here like this 35 degree line and it's perpendicular same edges are parallel to 35 degree clear like this as per the same numbering 1 2 3 2 comma 4 in front end a b c and b comma d clear now we draw the projection lines clear so first first diagram second diagram we know that second diagram and third diagram both are same shape and size only the position change so we get that final top view then you, you see the front view clear you draw the line projections from third diagram and from first diagram so draw the projections from a b comma d c similarly 3 2 4 and 1 clear then 2 b 1 a 3 c that is 4 in one line 4 d as it is so now we plot the points so 1 versus 1 1 and 1 1 so this one it is 1 dash 2 and 2 this is 2 dash 3 3 3 dash 4 and 4 4 dash so while seeing in front view the front 1 2 3 4 1 that square is completely visible therefore 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 so that front square portion is visible similarly a and a a dash b and b b dash c c c dash d and d d dash clear so in that we are the observer the 1 2 3 4 is the nearest one faces and a b c d a that is the farthest from the observer clear therefore in that a b c d a that four edges here the d to a a to b that edge is visible or otherwise let's see from here d a b this edge is visible b to c c to d is invisible from this one therefore d to a visible a to b visible but b to c invisible c to d invisible therefore hidden clear then only the base edges the square 1 2 3 4 and a b c d over now the line the edges that is called the longer edges a1 is visible in front view so therefore this is a dash 1 dash so a1 is visible next b to 2 d to 4 is visible b to 2 d to 4 is visible clear but the c3 is the far away from the observer it is invisible therefore this is c dash this is 3 dash from here to here it is invisible but already the a to 1 dash is the lines or visible lines therefore from here to here hidden line is overlapping remaining 1 to 3 it is hidden line is mentioned in this problem clear so finally we get fourth final solution so this is the after tilting as per the given inclination 35 degree to vp final top view then front view before tilting that is initial st stage one clear front view top view clear thank you